Hey, what's up, Nick White here. I do tech and Cody stuff on Twitch and YouTube. Check the description for all my information. What is up, guys? You know, if you program or code, you might have heard some people say before that um, it's possible that everyone can code. So everyone should be able to code. I want to shed light on the other side of things. Sure, everyone could code. I agree with that. But should everyone code? So here with me today, I have my roommate, Cole Hastings. He's another YouTuber. He does, you know, fitness, self-help uh, videos on various topics. And he is actually the person that got me into programming for the first time in high school. And then he went into it in college, but he no longer does it anymore. So I want to get his perspective on why he stopped coding, give you guys a little perspective on why someone would quit coding. So yeah, I used to code. I was actually pretty good at it. I majored in computer science originally, but ended up just getting my minor in it. Me and Nick actually started up a semi-successful startup company where he had me coding as well, where we were both doing a little bit of coding work. And then it came to a point where I decided that I wanted to quit coding entirely. Why you're saying that you realized sophomore year at college that it wasn't for you. Like, what do you mean it wasn't for you? It's for everyone. What I mean by that is when I first got into coding, I thought that I would be creating stuff that like I could see and that I could develop. Like game development sounded super cool to me that I could like visually see the results of me coding and it wouldn't be just like a bunch of algorithms and backend stuff along the way. And that's the type of stuff that I'm not really passionate about. And that's why I'm saying that coding isn't for me because it didn't really make me feel fulfilled. It didn't really feel meaningful to me and it didn't make me happy when I was doing it. You are basically just being a wimp and you can't make it through, you know, just writing a little bit of code so that you can, you know, just get rich. So what is your problem with that? <laughs> <laughs> So for me, it's really what I want to do with my life is I want to make a living off of doing what I love and coding was definitely not, or at least some parts of coding, like front end development's pretty cool. But a lot of the stuff they were teaching in college, I was like, okay, if I'm really going to get good at coding, I'm going to have to do this stuff. And that stuff was boring to me. And yeah, I don't know. I just, it, maybe it is like you said, it is me just not having the discipline to push through, but it just felt that it wasn't right for me and that programming wasn't something at least through college that gave me a lot of joy in my life i don't know i want to actually understand like what did you expect it to be so like you think what do you what do you think you're just writing I, what do people think that um the people that quit think that you just it's magic and that everything's fun and then you just make a freaking video game and then you're rich and that's it I think the way that the media portrays coding kind of really gave it a big appeal to me. You know, after watching The Social Network, like Nick has said in videos, like he got into coding kind of because of The Social Network, like that made it look cool. It made coding seem cool when in reality, coding is sitting in a dark room, coding thousands and thousands of lines of code at a time sometimes for hours on end. It's just, it's not... We don't have to sit in a dark room, bro. <laughs> okay, that one that was a little exaggerated, definitely. But yeah, I'm, I don't have anything against coders. Like, if you code, it's extremely admirable to me. But I think that the way the me the media portrays it is something way cooler than it actually than the reality actually is. What did you like about it? Did you like anything? Did you learn anything at all? Like, do you take away from your experiences in life, or do you just move through and you never learn anything? What did you learn from it? What did you like about it? I liked the immediate feedback of it. Like it made me feel good when, you know, I debug something or when I figured, like I wrote a lot of code and then I ran it and it worked. Like that feeling is hard to replace in code. And also the visual aspect of it. This is why I liked front end development is because I like designing through code. I like designing like a website, the structure of it, how it looks, the colors, the fonts and shit. Like that is cool to me through code. The final thing that I want, I have to keep moving the camera guys, like going back and forth. This is a terrible setup, I'm sorry. The final thing that I want to understand is, okay, so people, a lot of people go into it now because financially they think it's the smart decision, which it is a pretty smart decision if you do it. But uh, what advice do you have people 
that you know maybe they're not in the best financial situation where their you know parents can't pay for everything or they don't have a full scholarship should they take the risk to move to a different major or try to find something that they actually enjoy in life or should they you know take the financial road and be safe there's a difference between just not being motivated at some points to code and just straight out not liking it at all so i think you need to identify which one it is for you because if the only reason is it just feels too hard for you at the moment, but you do enjoy doing it, then I think you should continue doing it and pursuing that major. But if it's something that like you just straight out don't enjoy doing and it isn't fulfilling to you in the end, then you shouldn't do it. So I want to see what Cole actually still remembers about programming at all in general. Dude, I don't even think I remember the syntax for fucking printing hello world. <laughs> Wait, so... Oh wait, is this uh... This is HTML, this is a JavaScript file. Can I code HTML? Code HTML, sure. Okay, let's get the body going. The motherfucking body, yeah, you already know I'm the fucking best coder. What do you want me to do? You want me to maybe start off with a little H1 action? You know, that fatty H1? And write, uh, Nick lied about everything he said. No. Yeah. No, I'm the truth. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, all right. So I know, you know, H1P. Who knows, maybe in the body, I'll even add some CSS and we won't even need. That is exactly, oh, dude, that, that is good. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, they did call me a prodigy in college. Um, this is so wrong. What do you mean? This is completely wrong. Well, then we need a, a CSS file, obviously. This has to go in the head. There has to be a head, and then there has to be an HTML tag surrounding all that. My CSS, if I write it in HTML, in an HTML file, it should go in the head? Yeah, the style tags. Dude, I should definitely know that. <laughs> I coded my own website. Also, the body has to go in HTML tags. Oh, I know, I know that. Oh, right. I, w I just didn't want to do the whole thing. Okay, all right, all right. But anyways, let's, uh, let's give this H1... Um, let's give this H1, wait, what? No, that should be right. A color of blue. And right. yeah, it's semicolons. You think I don't know about semicolons? Let's Cause I do. Let's test, let's test it out. Let's give it a shot. Oh, look at that. That's actually pretty sick. Look at that, dude. All right, and now let's test your JavaScript. JavaScript. Uh, An actual programming language. You want me to link something from here? No, just write anything that you can in the JavaScript file. <laughs> Dude, leave me alone, Do man. Do you know what a variable is? If he, if he gave me one minute to just briefly check up on the syntax of things, then maybe I'd know things. Um, a variable? Yeah, you just do var. That's right. You oh, it is? Okay. It is Let's see. Var x but... equals 3. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Console.log. Awesome. Simple. All right. That's pretty good. Let's run this. I think coding's easier than I remember. Six. No, I'm just kidding. That was pretty good, actually. You didn't mess up that much. But, um, all right, that's it. That was not good. All right, that is it for this video. I don't know what kind of format this is. This is called the bad format, where you just go get up and keep moving the camera back and forth. <laughs> Thank you for watching this video. Um, yeah, Cole's channel's in the description. And um, what up, yo? Like and subscribe. See you in the next video. Peace.